about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know Levi's on the laptop? Who else is on there? They're on the plane right now, I think. Is that him? Yeah, on the plane. <laughs> Did you see the baby? Yeah. Yeah. Mom. And we lay down. Now, remember? On the tippy toes. Abby, go peel the garlic for me. Mommy, guess what? Well, I saw like the three year old. And Abby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Becky, on the wall. Remember? Yes. Yeah, I'll go. What we practiced with the legs. One. Two. <laughs> yeah. The splits. And then I got the Amazing. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> I have been thinking about it. Going vegan. Yeah? So it's, like I said, Missionary. It, it, I feel like it'd be very hard. Missionary. To do it. Dun dun it, dun. It is, really Hunter. Is, there's so many things that we're not like. Dun dun dun. That's vegan. How? Okay, but the shit. Yeah, so it is. Pedal, Abby. Pedal. Pedal. Sacrifice 490 for making them wait 30 minutes. That's true. That is true. Okay, right, let's go to the walkway right here. Well, maybe, I mean. How do you guys feel about picking up strangers at the airport in the middle of the night? Okay, wait, wait, stay right here, stay right here. Wait for Av, Makai, wait for Av. Wait for Av, Daddy Caesar. Stay right here. Hey, yeah. Look, there she is. Oh, her name's Vlada, not Victoria. She totally said, totally said Vlada again. What do you think? What do you think? Is that not Victoria? No. <laughs> I'm like, we're going to pick up some girls. She's like, contacted the church oh. for a ride. <laughs> what do you think, Tay? It's been a long yeah. time, huh? Last year, about two years ago, I dropped you off at the airport and now you picked me up? <laughs> <laughs> She's almost as tall as I am. I know. Yeah, almost as tall as I am too. Dude, was it seriously? Oh, have fun? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, we just had an epic reveal surprise, right? Lada okay. is here. We, she was saying it's like a girl named Victoria. We're picking her up to 
to take her to her house for like a service project and it was Lada! I know! Oh my! It starts with a V, yeah? That's good enough. The girls cried, it was beautiful, and I wasn't recording. Okay. Alright, let's take her home. I can't believe it. Yay! Have you been to Vienna? A little bit, yeah. But I'm so excited! Can you sleep in our room? Yeah. On Kingston's bed. No, you can sleep on my room. I can sleep on the floor. No, there's beds. There's beds. Okay, get in so she can get in. Oh, come on. So I realized, Mom. Kingston, do you want this? No, no girl. I'm really trying to get an Australian accent. Yeah. Comment down below if you think it's Australian. Dude, don't even mm -hmm. please. We're killing you. <laughs> yes, girl. Yes. Yeah. Fun fact. We're we adding escalators. Oh, that's the slide right there, huh? Go Kingston! He's too scared. Do it, King! There's number one. Comes number two. Let's see your little man do it. We could see you recording on the screen. See the camera right there. Come on. Where's Where's the third one? Alright, here comes number three. That is not ours. And it's maybe Kingston, I don't know. We go tell Kingston Mackay's waiting at the bottom. Wait. Kingston! My Kingston and I need him now. There he comes. There he comes. And there they are. Look. Look. Here's these losers.
Where are you going? Omaha. He's going to Omaha? Woo! Oh, mommy sits on Abby's side. Done, done, done. Little. Oh my goodness. We can't even get out the car. I'm kind of worried about you doing it, Jay. I don't think you should come in. You're going to lose your toys. Yeah, that's pretty much the atmosphere when you come to Little. This ought to be interesting. I'm making it sound like a It's a shopping It's a shopping car. It's some potatoes. It's a shopping cart uh, at the moment. Let's see how it looks in five minutes. It's almost gone, the one that... See, they tell you not to go shopping hungry. And what do we do? We go shopping hungry. So, we've been trapped at the bread aisle and the candy aisle and looking at stuff. And now we're just walking around looking at. Tivia, you got, her. you got her dancing, dancing about, doing her thing, you know, it's her doing her thing, you know, she does weird stuff, we love her still though, it's alright, uh, we love her, we love her, we love her, we love her stuff, we love her though, it's alright, all right, here's cart inspection number two, pretty basic items, nothing too special here, fairly normal, everyone grabs those smoojo, that, that little thing right there. I always look for this and they never have it. It's coconut yogurt. Coconut yeah. yogurt. We love coconut. Card check. Numero dos. I lied. It's today. So the girl I walked in. Yeah. One, two, three. Two toilet papers. One Pretty cheap. And soaps. Apple juice. Uh, rice. You get some vegan. Cocoa. Yogurt, bread, bread, oatmeal, juice, squash, uh, tofu, vegan stuff. Yeah, you know, it's it's just a whole shebang right now, you know. Freeway, Coca Cola, opera crap. No one likes it. We buy it anyways. And and add in some more cans. You got the peas, and you got yo tomato. It's very nice. Very nice. And we're out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the calm before the storm. We we'll only had this much. It's not too much, in all honesty. But uh, we got one thing open. They're all closed. So this is a quick preview of what I have. Going, holy crap, I'm so fast. The speed is amazing. Super sun. That's that. Getting started. My clothes. Bags that need to be washed. Kids' new summer clothes, which means we gotta get rid of all those clothes. The girls are always the worst. Uh, summer stuff that we'll use tomorrow at the pool and then leave behind or donate. Started to go through Kingston's clothes. Uh, a lot of this was stuff that was taken out of the car when it died. Plus my blanket and my bag of stuff I have to go through. Shoes, suitcase, toiletries. That middle section is stuff we're getting rid of. Uh, that's like games and activities. That pile is stuff we're going to take pictures of and recycle. 
That's Abby's toys, Kingston's toys, garbage bag, Taven's toys. So for now we're gonna have to go down some. Um, what else? I think that's it. We also have, what do we have upstairs still? We have kitchen stuff. We have some kitchen stuff upstairs, which we're not gonna take a lot of. And then we have stuff in the bathrooms and my electronics bag, so a lot of stuff still. And then we also, not in this room, have Makai's backpack, Wally's backpack, with their clothes in them. They're both probably kind of too big. Not Wally's went through his, but Makai's is too big. Mama. The joys. Mama. Yeah. They're enjoying Vlada's last night here before she departs and head back to the Ukraine. <gasps> And yes. they're watching both. Daddy is mm. yeah. For all of us. Yay. Serious? Yeah. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah. Good movie. Daddy, see I will sit down in a second. All right, guys. Daddy. See you later. So, I do see the, the truck sign here now, and the car here. It was busy, this one was open. We've never seen this before in our 14 months of driving in 18 countries, so at 3.30 3 a.m. we didn't pay attention. Now I see the ad blue. Yep, that's what we put in. So, this is awesome. Sarcastic awesome of the day. We took our niece, came to visit, uh, to the airport. 2.30, 3.30, we were there. We left and headed home. Yeah, so went to a place that I now clearly see is marked for trucks, but it said diesel. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, Wally's taking forever. This gas is not pumping. It's like click, 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 click. And he's... So finally I like look over and I like, he's only like five euros in. And I'm like, well, what are you doing? I think it's for trucks only. Well, then why are we doing it? Why didn't you tell me to move? Just let's stop and go pay. So there's a huge line. It's now like 4.15. So I'm waiting in line to get up to the other pump to gas, to pump. I'm tired. Um, and the car's like chug, 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 done. So now I'm at this weirdly busy, huge truck stop at 4 a.m., 40 minutes from home. And the kids all sleeping in bed and the car apparently has something besides diesel in it and won't run. Oh, Robert. So over here, they have this English, like, clear warning truck. So Wally caught on to that. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have all of the wonderful warning signs. It does have this, which shows a picture of a car and putting the stuff in the car, which this does not go in cars. The guy's in there talking like, oh, here's the number to call, have them tow your car. Like they basically, we just completely ruined our fuel system and no one said anything, acted like it happens all the time. Should my opinion's pretty messed up. So, yeah. We have no idea how we're going to get home. The kids are all home asleep. This is not good. Oh my gosh, seriously. Like, not kidding. While he's literally behind the car pushing it, we're getting some momentum. We're about, to, like, look, I'm like, push it right in there. While he starts pushing the car and these jerks pull in. Yay, life! If they'd share a sleeping bag with me so I can go to sleep too. Maybe. Yeah. This full time travel life is glamorous, y'all. Yup. So it's now 6 20. We got gas around 3 30. So we've been here for almost three hours. 
and so basically no scrapyards or anyone's answering the phone because it's the weekend so um we got a friend that's coming to grab us and let us borrow his car today while he's at work so we can go home and get the kids and go to church. Wally, what do you have to say? I killed Kenny. <laughs> he really killed Kenny for real. <laughs> oh, God. He's back there talking about having faith and the Lord will provide. I'm pretty sad that we won't be able to provide ourselves with this money right now to try to sell the roof box. that we are going to get from selling the car. I know, we need to get the tires off too. Good times. Saw the sun come up. That was new. <laughs> yeah, so... <sighs> now it's seven. We're still here. <gasps> There's our last sit. Our last sit on the car. So update for those following along. Our friend picked us up and we dropped him off at work. He's an angel, seriously. Um, and he let us borrow his car. And I'm a little nervous. Okay. I just turned 10. 10 year old turn? Smile, you made it! <laughs> Are you alive? <laughs> Seriously. Oh, babe. I love your shirts. How cute. What are you doing? Over here. Did you guys have fun on the dock? Yeah. Did some good jumping. <laughs> Yeah. Kingston, show me what you did off the dock. What did you do? Did you really? Yeah. Show me how you jump. Let me hold the chips and show Daddy. Let me hold the chips. I want to see how you jump. Show me your twist. Did you? Wow, show me. Just do it right there on the ground. Jump up and show him how you did it. Whoa. Yeah, he did. He's fun, nice. man. It was cool. <laughs> oh, it'll be three. Oh. Careful. Help her up. One more time. You just love babies. You baby lover. Who doesn't love babies? I, people that have. Ish. You don't want to know those people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate kids, yeah. I think it's like that. Yeah, that's when we played that. I'm going to save you. Live, big, live size chest in the mall. Let's see, Makai. Everett! Everett! Hi! He's like looking everywhere. Hi, buddy! Hi. Hi. You're gonna smile. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, no, it's a bird behind you. Oh, uh, that works too. We'll do anything that we want today. Won't be scared of falling down no more. So take me away.
reality of uh, moving a full-time family again. A thunder. I'm doomed. Oh, this is where we're still at. And we're down to like 24 hours. That's all stuff to get rid of. Some of the stuff's not going. Pillows and blankets. But, um, yeah, I need help. Okay, please help me. If you're a full-time traveling family and you've traveled with kids, you have no home base, um, and you have traveled like at least a year, let me know how much stuff you have or how you I'm like, really, so we got used to, into Europe to having our spices and just kind of moving our house along with us basically in our car. Now we're going down to an airplane and I am freaking out. We have so much stuff, but I also don't want to just leave behind everything I paid. Freaking out. I need help. Give me advice. Send me messages. Okay, appreciating the thoughts. <clears throat> uh, my dilemma I'm getting stuck at, I think, is that we're not just gone for a year. Like, if we were just going for a year or six months, then, yeah, just make do, don't have stuff. The stuff we have, I feel like we've been using in Europe. And so I feel like we'll still want to use it wherever we are. And I don't want to rebuy it. And I can't really afford to rebuy it. So I want to take it. But I don't want to. I don't know. And we made the train. That's a good start. It was looking iffy. Woo! Our awesome friend Oppy, we love you, was giving us rides, but we left a little late. So we ended up calling an Uber, and I'm really glad we did because we just got here. We got six minutes to spare, so it was probably a good idea. Okay, I'll hold your hand, buddy. Let's go. Oh, good job. Okay, got a five hour train ride. To Munich.